to the channel guys if you guys are new to the channel my name is Kevin this is my wife Rachel hey guys so we got a thousand red worms right here in this bag that's right we got a bunch of little wiggly worms in this bag and in this big box we have a hungry bin uh, it's a hungry bin worm composter is what it is um, we're gonna try to use these worms to do some vermicomposting that'll be exciting so one thing we're going to do in this video today, we're going to put this thing together. Um, just to be 100% upfront, we are not affiliated with this company. We're not doing a commercial or an ad or promo or anything like that. We just have been looking into doing this for a couple years now. Yeah. Um, you've really been wanting to do it. She's always <laughs> been kind of researching it a little bit and been really interested in it. And Actually, I had when I first started researching it, I was going to get an old bathtub. Yeah, and, that's right. And do it in an old bathtub. But after watching the Smith's channel, uh, you know, Granger Smith, if you're not familiar with him, he actually had a composting bin in his well house. And I'm like, I didn't even know, I didn't even know those existed. That's the coolest <laughs> thing ever. And I'm like, that is, that kind of shocked me that he had right. one of those. That surprised me. So Kevin found us one. I don't think it's the same one that he no, has. There are so many ones yeah. out there. A lot of people make their own. Um, the main thing is, I did a lot of research and I wanted one that had no odor, I wanted one that didn't leak all over the place, and third, I wanted one where the worms couldn't get out and just yeah. start crawling everywhere. They crawl everywhere. So I did my research and this is supposed to be the number one selling brand that had the best reviews. Um, it is imported from New Zealand, and when I opened the manuals up to try to read <laughs> up on it, I don't know what language they speak, I, I don't know if it's Australian or what, but uh... I couldn't read it. It wasn't Cherokee or English, so <laughs> or Spanish. I can read a little Spanish. But anyways, we're gonna try to get this thing put together. Um, you can kind of hear the ducks here behind us. We're, we need to get them watered and fed real quick, and then we'll yeah. go out and uh, check on the goats once we get this done. But I got a thousand worms right here in my hand, and they're they're ready to get in this thing. Um, pretty much what this is, we'll talk a little bit about now. It's a vermicomposter. So how this works is you set it up, it's going to look like a big green trash can. Um, we're going to put a bunch of dirt in there. We've got a bunch of compost from our own compost pile that we're going to put in here. It's got a lot of goat poo, got some wood chips and stuff like that. We'll put these worms in there. We'll put some water in there. And then what you do is you take your food scraps, anything green pretty much, any, any plants, vegetables, uh, banana peels, stuff like that. You put it on here, just put it, pour it on top, and they do their thing, and eat it all up, and they turn it into worm castings. And once we get this thing together, we'll talk a little bit more about that, and I'll kind of show you how it works and show you the pieces.
Yeah, I finally found the uh, American instructions. I didn't open up. Enough. That's funny. <laughs> Who needs instructions anyway, right? Yeah, you'll see. assembly no but we made it look way harder than what it right. actually was <laughs> so guys i know you can't hardly see okay leave that right there so this has a little insert down here and it actually comes out i can't get it out from the top but that has a bunch of little holes in there and what that does is that allows all of the castings to go down and it falls through and all the liquid this and what one. happens is this little bottom bin, this actually pops off. It got, it has these hinges on each side, and that's where all the worm castings gather and collect. But this little uh, contraption down here is just a little tray, and what this does is catches all the liquid that drips out of this whole container with all kinds of good nutrients and all that good liquid stuff that worms make. And that's <laughs> what you use on your garden. That and the worm casting. Yes, you can, but that is like liquid gold. Yes, it is. So now we're going to use this uh, gorilla cart and we're going to take it out here to our pasture where our compost pile is and we'll get it full because you got to fill this thing up like three quarters of the way. Actually, I need to read the instructions now that I found the English version and uh, we'll read up on that real quick and then we'll head out there and get some of uh, that compost dirt. See if we can get through the gate without any goats escaping. Yeah, this was a... Uh... We should have fed the goats before we did this, but don't get fed. Watch your tripod. Watch out, y'all. Hi, Daisy. Alright guys, so this is what we're going to be putting in there. There is all kinds of good composted material in here. And I'll show you guys what most of this matter is. It's a little bit of wood chips and a whole bunch of goat poop and uh, bedding material that the goats always laid in. All that wasted hay and straw that was inside our barn. And uh, we just leave this out here all year long. Come out here with the tractor just about maybe once or twice a month stir it up after a good rain and uh it's good to go some of this on the outside you can see it's still not broke down so i'm going to try to stay towards the middle and the way this breaks down is by bacteria and the chickens get out here and they help stir it up because worms grub worms and all kinds of bugs get in here and uh they turn this into pretty much just pure dirt Now there is still a lot of sticks and like wood mulch in here, but the worms will further break that on down. 
the back there. You can't get in there, little goat. <laughs> and this was all free material, by the way. Um, our local electric company was clearing the right-of-ways and trimming trees and all that. And they got a, a mulcher and a big dump truck. And what they do is they go down, clear the right-of-ways of the power lines, and throw all the limbs and, well, pretty much the whole tree in that mulcher. And it spits all these little chips into that truck. And they need places to dump it. And luckily one day in town I ran into them and asked them if they had a load I needed to dump because I could sure use one. So they followed me right up here to our house and dumped it. And it was right after that I started uh, clearing out our barn with the backhoe. And I added all that good goat bedding and uh, poop <laughs> and all that stuff to it. I don't know. You guys can't see this. But Daisy will not let me film. She keeps hitting the tripod <laughs> every time I start filming. I don't know. Does she do, do you that way, Kevin, or is it just me? She does me too. She wants attention. That's why I don't like this big, long tripod. So, right here in the middle, it's getting real good. Real, real good. Ooh, that's good stuff. So, I don't know how much more. Maybe a couple more scoops. <laughs> Daisy. Come on, girl. Look at here. You got a chicken here. She's coming out here doing her job. She helps us keep this stirred up, and she gets a treat. When she finds some worms or whatever in here, I think that's good. We're only supposed to fill it up three quarters of the way, but yeah. What do you think, one top? All right, let's go. Okay guys, it is time to release the worms. So let's see Rachel get a couple handfuls of them here. There's supposed to be 1,000 of them in here. And since I couldn't read the instructions in time, I only ordered 1,000, but there's actually, I meant to say there's supposed to be 2,000 in here when you originally uh, start this off. Wow, that's a lot of little worms. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that'll probably make a good thumbnail. Here, turn this way. Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me just see this. Awesome. That is crazy. Okay, so you're supposed to dig out like a little place in the middle. Directly in the middle, like. Well, no, but some's already in there. And, okay. You and don't want to just spread them out or what? It, no. <laughs> it says they will disperse on their own. Okay. So guys, I don't know if you can tell or not, but look at this. This is just super, super loose. It's got all kinds of organic matter That's in there. That's not all of them. Uh, no, I'm just talking about this this compost. You don't want to put a hard packed, like a topsoil in here. They need to be able to move around and uh, make their little tunnels and move freely. They don't want, they don't, you don't want them to be all compacted and uh, where it's like hard, where they can't make their little tunnels and move around good. If you get what I'm saying, I know I just repeated myself. <laughs> if you get what, you get my drift. So supposedly that's a thousand little red worms, and uh, my dad, I was tell, telling my dad about this thing the other day. My mom and dad came over, and I was telling them that this was supposed to be shipped, and my dad's like, "What kind of worms did you put in it?" And I know what he was thinking because we love cat fishing, and perch fishing, all kinds of stuff. But I told him red worms. Ah, you don't want them red worms. <laughs> Supposedly red worms aren't very good for fishing. Uh, we always use like Canadian night crawlers around here. Um, sometimes when a big flood comes, we'll go over by my uncle's house and he has a good place oh, where they have the best. when the, the uh, creek beds kind of flood, they all come up to the road and they start crawling across the uh, blacktop. It's free pickings. Though. And these things are 10 inch, 12 inch night crawlers that come out mm -hmm. and uh, they are the best catfish bait. But anyways, I don't know. I'm sure you could use these red worms if you really wanted to. I'm sure it'd be perfect 
perch bait and we might be able to put them to the test we need to see if there's any perch left in our pond i don't know if you could get one on a hook though look i know i think that i think these are just small i think they actually get a lot bigger i'm not sure we'll i don't see. know we're, we're gonna see this is like a whole trial thing guys but the thing is what i was saying is the red worms do so much better with composting uh food and such this is what they recommend is the red worms not the night crawlers or any of the others and we're but, not done yet no we still got to add water to this we and got a, a layer. bunch well we got a bunch of uh scraps yes it says uh, we got some scraps in the back of the ranger that i've been collecting with coffee grounds and all kinds of stuff but i think we need to get some water real it quick it says add fresh food and cover with a sheet of newspaper or cardboard okay we got that do we need to get the uh water first i would say water at first okay. moisten with water and add 2,000 worms add... Uh, we only got 1,000. Well, <laughs> they'll work. They'll work. All right. Let add. me go get some water before we start skipping steps. Okay. Okay, guys. So, as you can see, this is really moist compost already. It kind of balls together when you press it. But it does say to add a little water. So, I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't want to add too much. I'm going to try to spread it around because I don't want to drown them out. But we will give them some moisture. And we'll come out and check... And the reason we're doing this in the shop now is we actually have a frost warning tonight. Uh, this is not going to be the permanent place that we keep them because in the summertime it does get kind of warm in here. And we don't want to cook them. But uh, we'll find a place out of the sun, probably on the side of the shop underneath the lean-to. Kind of keep them out of the weather and out of the sun. And we'll see how they do. So there's that. Now, let's add some food, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so... So this is some stuff that I've been kind of keeping in the house. We got some eggshells. I don't know if they'll eat that or not, but I know it's good for compost. And I got tons of coffee grounds. We got some grapes. And let's see what else we got in there. Coffee grounds. We'll just kind of spread it around. Can you see? Is the light okay? Mm -hmm keep getting in the way got some cucumber peels all kinds of coffee grounds in there and that's about it for now whenever our garden starts producing this summer we should have fresh veggies for them every day uh, the peelings and all that's especially good for them so now we'll just take a couple sheets of newspaper I don't know how much Probably just one, just thin piece. I think know. it's safe to say this is not a how-to. No, this is not a how-to. By no means, this is a trial and error. <laughs> we did not uh, thoroughly. Okay, that's probably good for now. Read all the. Um, we did not thoroughly read all the directions before we start. Nobody started. reads directions. Well, you're supposed to. Like, I know. yeah, but this is not a how-to. This is just a. Yeah. How we did it. <laughs> We'll see, huh? So now, we'll just close the lid and uh, we'll come back out tomorrow and maybe tomorrow sometime and we'll look those newspapers up and check them and see. But for now, I think we're done with this project for tonight. The goats are crying and uh, they're wanting they are they're wanting to eat their food and they depend on us for that. So we're gonna go get Daisy fed and get the goats their food. We'll go check on the little babies too while we're out. So I think we did a pretty good job. That, yep, wasn't, that wasn't hard to put together. No, and... it's pretty much, it comes put together already. Yeah. And we'll see if these uh, New Zealand like... engineers are, do quality work. It looks like they do. I'm pleased it, with it, it. Yeah, so far it looks really good. It looks like a really nice uh, trash can. And I just now noticed this lid is actually vented. So that's good. They're not going to get too hot and cook in there. They, this is vented. So let's go feed the goats. All right. All right. And then the one goat that never wants to eat anyone else always stands either up on the hay bale feeder or on the little doghouse. I don't get it. We know Daisy. So guys, Daisy 
is still having some nasal problems. She's a lot better, but uh, I don't know if you can see her nose just stays irritated all the time. So she's definitely going to be going back to the vet sometime. But she's acting normal. She just has a little bit of like a, I don't know what you would call it. It's not really a problem breathing, but you can definitely tell it don't sound normal. And it, it's, you can tell it's irritating her still. Yeah. Well, I can see it is. So. All right, let's go feed the others and check on the other babies. <laughs> Mojo, you ready for dinner, buddy? Huh? You ready for dinner? So guys, if you see Skeeter acting a little weird, today was the first time uh, he's ever had his teeth cleaned. We had to drop him off at the vet very early this morning. It was an all day thing. He had to kind of stay there pretty much all day. Um, they put him out to do that. And whenever I picked him up, he was still kind of loopy. But I think he's pretty back to normal now. Skeeter, are you okay now? Yeah, he is. I'm about to let you open the gate and hand you this camera. They're going to knock me down. These pregnant mamas are starving. Well, yeah. Yeah. She knows. Man, I can smell those wild plum trees blooming. That's probably one of my favorite um, smells from any of the flowering trees. Hey. Shadow, get out. Patience. Okay, 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 okay. She blocks me so I can't walk and then she jumps up in the bucket. She's got it figured out. I've got to get that other tartar feeder put over here. They are out of room. Yeah, and Tammy yeah, takes Tammy up. lays down right in the middle every time. Every time. Golly. She hogs it all. Yeah, this got it in my eyeball. Look at her on the picnic table. What are you doing? Huh? That one's trying to go up the slide. I've named that one right there, Pumpkin Pie. One of the sub subscribers had uh, suggested that and I thought that was super cute. Because they said uh, they look like the color of pumpkin pie, or she looks like the color of pumpkin pie. And she's got white on her head, so it looks like a dollop of Cool Whip. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So she's pumpkin pie. And there's Mickey with all the spots. One of the best toys you can get for little goats. And you can pick those up free at most places. What's that one's name? Caramel? Caramel. I told him that one down there that's darker is pumpkin pie. I like tangerine. But no, I like pumpkin pie. What are you doing? They're finally there? able to jump up on these spools. You know what? Yeah. They're so cute. I can watch them for hours. Yep. So I need help. Where is that one? Okay. <laughs> this is ghost faces. <laughs> You're jumping up on that picnic table sliding. <laughs> that's like Dukes of Hazard stuff. Oh, that's funny. 
Okay, so this one right there with the white face, that is Ghostface's little girl. We need a name. We, I need a name suggestion for that. This, I mean, we're definitely keeping her. Yeah, she's beautiful too. Yes. The ghost face is an awesome ghost. A good mom. So it would be good genes to put back into our herd. Yes. So. so the herd of the Picos. Yeah, Picos. So that one right there. Help us with a name suggestion. Yeah, that's a good name. They don't really have to go with ghost face. Oh yeah, you're gonna do that with eggs in your hand. Yeah, I got her. Boy, you're more coordinated. I got you. Hey, 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 hey. We're trying to find you a name. What do you think? So put down in the comments what you think we should name this one. It's a little girl, and it's Ghostface's baby. And she is just beautiful. She She's very is awesome. healthy. Whoa. <laughs> very healthy. She's and we be don't a... go just by coloring. No. I know we talk a lot about the coloring. Um. Because that's just like, that's just like the first thing that we notice that always helps us name them for one. Like ghost face. Yeah. It's solid black with the total white face. Exactly. So if, we, they have, if they have any kind of deformity yes. or anything that could be passed on to their gene, like their children or their kids later on. Right. We don't keep them now like color wise and stuff like that. We really don't care about. It's nice to have beautiful ones, Yeah, but. but the, genet the genetics that we're talking about is mainly health-wise right. and parasite-wise, like how resistant they are to deal with parasites. All goats have parasites, all goats have worms. We'll get into this in another video, but anyways, we need a name for uh, Ghostface. No. Ghostface's okay. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mickey over there. Where is he? Oh, oh he's on, on the stand. On the spool. They're having so much fun. <laughs> Hi, princess. Oh, Mojo's chasing turkeys, though. <laughs> Don't let him eat your food, though. Better, Scotch, you better run. <laughs> he, I think he, he eats a little bit of food and he kind of walks off and acts like he's not interested to see if the chickens and turkeys will go up there. And he does it for attention, I think, because then he chases them. <laughs> he's a funny boy. Aren't you, Mojo? He never hurts them or nothing. He just shapes chases them all. Yeah. Oh. Mojo. Mojo. Mojo, your food. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's wrap it up and get these eggs in the house. Okay. I'll let you wrap it up. I'm, my hands are full. No! <laughs> you! Let's do it. I can't do it. Hurry up before the wind gets worse. My arms isn't as long. It's fine. Just get yourself my arms are not you're always wanting to talk more so here's your chance i don't want to talk more <laughs> have at it so do we want to give them any kind of hints no they're gonna have to watch okay. more videos so all right well in the video okay well i can't hardly stand it i'll say that we do have big big life-changing news coming yeah but, but you're gonna have to keep watching if you're not subscribed subscribe yes ring the bell uh we will be having an announcement here yeah. pretty soon but we're not going to yeah. get into that right exactly now. but we do have a lot of big news coming up so we're pretty excited anyway if you've made it all the way through <laughs> the end of if this you don't, video if you didn't get grossed out by the thousands of worms <laughs> and the vermicomposting yeah stay tuned to that because it's going to be interesting i'm yes. interested in it i know you are yes and i'm also interested to see how well it does for our vegetable plants and our garden plants and our right. trees our orchard and maybe the flowers if we got some left over yeah we're excited uh we always like to try new things we don't just do one thing here on the farm no you so. never know what video i guarantee no. you all didn't know we were gonna do no worm no. video today did you i can't hardly hold this tripod <laughs> all right in the video <laughs> so thank you guys we appreciate all of y'all sticking around uh please like this video subscribe to our channel and if you want to help us out Give us a name for Ghostface's baby. Yeah. Give us some suggestions. We appreciate all of you guys. Thank you for sticking it out this far. Um, if you want to help us in the future, please share our channel on all your social media. Uh, if you can, watch the ads. That always helps. Yep. And uh, just share it with your friends. If, if you enjoy the content we put out, we're just a farm vlog, but you never know what we're going to be doing, like Kevin said. <laughs> you just never know. So... 
We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you next see ya. time.